I yeah, am too. That's a lot. And let me say this before we get started. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was this many Juneteenth events before the wow. 19th. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I think it's more or less, man, us building together. Um, we talk education, we talk liberation, and then we're going to celebrate at the same time. So um, it's a beautiful thing when the community and the committee can come together and put together something concrete, right? We're mm -hmm. talking job expos. We're talking about celebrating with our elders. Yes. We're talking about uplifting our youth. We're talking about a soft launch of a grocery store that we've been working on for a number of years. Now that right there, yes, that gave me goosebumps. Yes, the right. North Side has been lacking a grocery store for years you now. Know it. You for know years. It. And as a North Side baby, that yeah. kind of hurt my feelings. Yeah. It's like, we don't yeah. have no grocery store? At all. Like, Richardson's Field, so Kroger's Field. Kudos to right, right, you guys right, right. for doing that. Like, I remember, remember March when we had Hammond. <laughs> 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 you see why they say <laughs> Before we go into the community <laughs> events, can yeah, you just give a brief history about Juneteenth and why it's yeah. not just celebrated on the 19th? Yes, ma'am. So we're talking about Emancipation Proclamation. Yes. And we're talking about Freedom Day for black people, uh, which we still continue to fight for to this day. Um, when you talk about the essence of Juneteenth, right? It was signed back in 1863. And so the reason why it wasn't ever to really free black people, man, is really kind of give a token to kind of make folks feel good because it wasn't it wasn't really free until 1865 mm. when the word reached out from Texas almost two years after the fact. Two, right? two years. Yeah, that's like working two years free for no pay and nobody told you nothing, right? And then the word finally reached town right. and then you understand that you're free. So. Um, we celebrate, right? We, we, we gotta uplift our ancestors. Everybody who paved the way before us, everybody who built this country, everybody who played a part in making us free for real, right? This is what we do it for, and this is why we celebrate Juneteenth, man. You know, when we talk about it, we want to educate each other. Yeah, absolutely. Times, man, we can we can always celebrate, sing and dance and shake our butts all day. But when we talk about really learning about why we do these things and, mm -hmm. and really be behind a mission and a purpose for real, um, we gotta know what we're doing and why we do it. So, I got a question. I'm sorry, Ryan. Well, you look like you was going to say something important. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I want to know, so what is a celebration of Juneteenth look like? Like, to mm -hmm. actually celebrate us being free from slavery, yeah. what would that look like? What we what what would we actually do to celebrate that? Yeah. So, man, we, we really got to, in a capitalistic country like America, man, we got to be talking about how we get our foot, how we get pull ourselves up from the on the bootstraps, right? Mm. We talking financial literacy. Yes. Like, we got to learn to pull our money together. Mm. We ain't really saying, hey, we're going to do co-ops to open up grocery stores, to open up credit unions, and to be able to give our people loans, our small business Powerful. and minority-led businesses so we can have an anchor around here and really have a flow because you can't do nothing in this city or in this country without no money. <laughs> so we got to be talking about how we get some money together. Yeah. And what that look like, how we invest in how we send up the next generation, yes. right? How we all ball out for real. So that's one thing for sure, and that's what Juneteenth we be doing there. We got a financial literacy session where we be bringing in financial advisors. We talk about how you go build capital, how you can build credit. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't take advantage of those things. We don't talk about credit. We don't talk about how we put stocks and bonds in. We don't talk about putting money together. So that way we got a long term build in here. So we'll be doing that. Yes. Right? So yes. That, that's part of the celebration. But then educate. Right? Just like what Educated. we were just talking about, yes. uh, you know, 1863 and 1865 and talking about uh, the Macapation Proclamation, talking about how we came to this point in life, right? Mm -hmm. We got to let our young boys know that. And, uh, you know, back in the day, we used to sit behind or we used to sit at the feet of the elders, right? They used to tell these stories. They did. They used to talk about information. And information is power. So if you don't know anything, right? You can't, you, grow. Out here, right? yeah, you, you can't grow. Yeah, you can't grow. You can't grow, right? Absolutely. It's like when you learn something, you feel empowered. Mm -hmm. So we have to go ahead and educate, you know, our young people, especially our young people today. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a special sure. group. It's special, it's special energy, right? Especially right. the youngest person in the room. Yeah, right, right, right. right, 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 right. As my granddad used to say, yeah, child, yeah. I tell you one thing. <laughs> but you know what they were saying when they said that. Yeah. Right? It's like, man. Beat him! <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, right? Because my grandfather used to say the same thing. Like, man, he said, like, you know, you know, he even worked, you know, did the GM thing, right? Had businesses on the side and wanted to pass it off to his kids. Right. You know, my uncles, and, you know, they, they was in the party mode, right? It was a thing like, man, listen, they, I think it's a thing that you don't even realize what you got. 
it's, it's, it's a sense of uh, unconscious entitlement. Mm. All the time. Just like you, you know, do it you know, like, We don't do it on purpose. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like, it's almost like, said, like you had a, a big brother that became an NBA hoop star. Yeah. And you like to play basketball, but you really not a ball player. Nah. But you feel like you're supposed to get picked up because your last name, his last name. All you know what I mean? Yeah, and so I feel time. like every all generation has that little tinge of entitlement yeah. Yeah. because we didn't see the front work. We did. We only saw the outcomes. Think about it like now, right? You know, probably come up in the mud, so I come up in the mud, right? Um, but I want my babies to come up in the mud. I want there them to be tight. I want them to, exactly. you, know, you know, and I don't want to spoil them neither, though. Right, because then they don't have that work. It's they it's ain't got that hustle. Right? Yeah, right? that's facts. And then they be depending on you for the rest of their lives, right? Yes, <laughs> in more ways than once. All the time. So it's a thing of okay, yeah, you know, yeah, we want to make a way. Yeah, we want to put y'all in position, just like these young folks. But you gotta want to earn it. Mm -hmm. And we gotta know that we prepping you so you ready, and that when it's time to hand it off to you, that you gonna take it much farther than what we did today. Yeah, I was one of those moms like when it was time for my little birdies to lead the nest. Mm -hmm. I was sad, but I was also excited. Oh, for sure. Because I wanted to see what I did. For sure. Did I do a good job? Yeah. Because the goal is not to raise kids so they can stay with me. Or no, even no. come back. No, no. <laughs> the you goal is go to raise now. productive citizens yeah, that yeah. can live on their own and they come to me for advice. Right. Or in the event of emergencies. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's right? it. I that's tell my it. daughter all the time, right? You know what I'm saying? My son, he's going to be straight, right? He, uh -huh. he, he think like that. He, okay. he want to leave the house today. <laughs> But the thing is, right, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, I ain't enabling them. There you go. So I do want to make sure that I'm raising productive citizens yes. that's going to contribute to civilization and be great in the future. Yes, and so I'm looking at this list of events, and this celebration is doing that to me. When I'm looking, yes, like, it's holistic, yes, to say the least. Yes, ma'am. Just name off some of these days and, and the, the events that's going to be taking place. Oh, for sure. So tomorrow we got the kickoff. We'll be at um, Sarvis Park on Wiseman. Uh, we'll be having a bunch of vendors, activity. We have music. You know that's so we'll just be kicking it, barbecuing, just getting together. It's like a family reunion. Right? Oh, that's so that's Lightless. tomorrow on MLK University. Yeah, yeah, come on, pull up. It's at one o'clock. We're gonna be out there. You're gonna see a lot of activity. Okay. Um, and we're gonna be getting together, right? And then, of course, man, the next day, which is um, the 12th, we'll, or the 11th, we'll be doing the historical St. John's street dance, right? And wow. so this is the elders, right? When the you talk history about, of St. John's. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them don't, don't even know, know about yes. St. John's, right? They don't, they don't know about these neighborhoods. You know about St. John's? No. See? Mm. So the thing and I'm is, sorry. Don't y'all jump. No, no, no. Oh. Trust me. It's people who been is, here all their life don't know about St. John's. This is a building moment, yes. right? St. John's is a historical neighborhood here in Flint, right? When you're talking about black folks owning shops. Black Wall Street, Flint black had Wall one Street, of them. Right? Flint had one Gas of them. Gas station stores, right? All these different things, these elements. We don't own the, the corner store in our neighborhood right now. Did you know where St. So John the... used to be? 475. For real? That's what I'm saying. So when you talk about the history, <laughs> look, look, when you talk about history, cheese, them highways uh -huh. are detrimental for black communities, especially the ones that was thriving. So say, for instance, we all, everybody got businesses. Everybody making money and living mm -hmm. well, right? And we all building together. That's crazy. And they come in with eminent domain. And they said, we're going to put a highway right through your neighborhood, right through your neighborhood. And they said it like this. The city has decided. Yes. The city has decided we're going to build a highway right here. Yeah. That's but, it. With a promise. They'll promise you, hey, listen, we're going to give you this, this stipend or this check, right, for you to go ahead and buy property elsewhere. And it never happens. And them same folks who own their home, mm -hmm. which is the first piece of generational wealth, them same people living in apartments. Now you don't own nothing. Right. Or the money they gave you for your business, not even half of what it was worth. Not even half what it's worth. So you lost. It's like taking a loss. Yeah. Who wants you to take a loss? Right? You gotta start over. He's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got nothing to hand down. I ain't got. I ain't Man. Okay. Ain't we get, I'm I'm good. Good. You got me all excited that, about St. John's. Yes. Right? So we'll be we'll be hanging with the elders in um, St. John's. Okay, a lot of dope. the residents that's who dope. come up, they still talk about it. It's a committee that still works to this day. Right? Wow, they just okay. received $1.7 million in grants. Wow. Yeah, they about to do some real work over there in That's that area. Beautiful. They about to redo that bridge. Um, so we gonna be out there hanging out, man. It's a, uh, I, we, I, we call the young people the black party. Of we course. gonna do a black party. Yeah, let's right. do a black party. Yeah. They like, I'm gonna yeah, have to we did that face. back in the day. Yeah, that, yes. you know, we called it the street dance. So we'll be at the historical St. John's. We'll be on uh, Massachusetts in the Boulevard. Yes. So come on out, man, bring your lawn chair, bring your bones. Right, oh, bring wow. your chair, right, bring your grill if you want to, and man, let's get to it. So now that was just this weekend. Where can they go to find out about all the activities from tomorrow through the 19th? Yeah, so actually you can go on www.sloanlongway.org slash Juneteenth. 
us, Sloan is our partner in this, right? Okay. You know, we got another partner. Which is also, right? I think, very dope. Right. We're going, <laughs> we're going to be out there for a session. Um, so if you want to know more about Juneteenth, if you want to connect, you want to get the flyers, a lot of media coverage is being co uh, put out there. Okay. Um, just tap in. But this then also, we, we'll be doing legacy and literacy. We'll be talking financial literacy. We want to be able to go ahead and build capital. We'll be opening, doing a soft launch of the grocery store yes. right there on Pearson and Clio. Right. Dope. It's gonna be a Ujama market. We do a walk through. We do a tour of the facility. It's gonna be dope, right? And so, if anybody wants to volunteer or maybe uh, see if you got some vendor space yeah. available, do they just go to the website or can they contact you directly? Yeah, yeah, both ways, right? Okay. You can go to the website, or then you can always contact me at three one three two five eight eight nine six six seven. Okay. Three one three two five eight eight nine six seven. Um, we definitely get you connected because it's like five different opportunities for vendors. Wow, that's so we want you to sell merchandise. We're going to buy, we're going to patronize you, we're going to support you, market you, all that. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Chemistry Time and letting us connect and get to know about what's going on in the community. We appreciate you, Mr. Robinson. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you have I any questions? Job. No, no, I'm ready to get there to the barbecue and all. Hey, hey, I want to learn you, I'm more. Pumped. He want to learn more. Wanna you you learn see what I'm saying? About that job. Is yes. When I say Flint is dope. Yeah. It's, dope. it's a reason why we're so proud. That's, that's interesting. Man, that's going to be dope. But I do want to highlight, too, the uh, the Sloan piece, right? We're yes. going to be at the Sloan, Sloan, uh, Sloan, Way, Sloan Long Way Planetarium. Uh, that'll be next Friday. Okay. We'll be out there. We got folks performing. We got vendors. Mama Soul going to be out there. Mama Soul. You know, Amy, she's probably about to be fired. Right? Yes, yes, yes. We got yes. a lot of young Flint artists that's coming up doing their thing. They're going to be out there performing. It's going to be a grand old time. But the marquee thing that we do, right, is the parade. Jeez, okay. You gotta get in the parade, bring your classic old school cars out. We're gonna have bike clubs, car club, motorcycle, block clubs, a float. It's gonna be a dope segment that we'll be starting at Max Brandon Park. Come on, bring the kids down at Max Brandon Park. We have a carnival vibe going on out there wow. with family, right? We start at noon. It'll be going to five. The parade start lining up at five. And then we'll make our way down here to the Riverbank Park. We'll be right here down the street okay. for the Afro Beast Party, man. We just that's dope. Dope. I can't wait for that. I can't wait either. We, we Again, www.sloanlongway.org slash Juneteenth for more information. This is dope for the city, dope for the community. Thanks again to Mr. Okay. Robinson and his crew for coming in Thank and you. chilling with us and kicking with yes. us on chemistry time. Stay locked in. It's 98.9 to be. You know we have more coming away. It's back in the grind.